So today we are in Leipzig and we are going to check out the zoo here. And honestly, I've actually heard a lot of good things about the zoo. Um, a lot of people have recommended this zoo to us. They said it's a great zoo to go to with kids. And so I'm honestly pretty excited about checking out the zoo. And even just looking at this map, I can tell this is a really large zoo. They, it looks like they have uh, giraffes, rhinos, gorillas, they even have an aquarium. So I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. So like most zoos, they have it divided up into uh, different regions. So you have the uh, Africa area, Asia, South America, then you have Pongo land, which has all of the gorillas and monkeys, and then uh, Guandana land. So tickets uh, for an adult, a day ticket is 22 euros. A child from six to 14 is 14 euros. Or you could get a family card for two adults and up to four children for 54 euros. So not too bad. Now let's go check out some of the animals. Make sure to check out uh, the billboard because it has the feeding times for that day. Okay. First stop, Z Aquarium. So as soon as you go into the aquarium, if you go up the steps, they have a super cool area where there is a circular aquarium where you can see the fish and sea life just swimming around you. So that is very unique. I've never been to an aquarium that has something like this before. So I think the aquarium was pretty cool. It's not super big, but what it does have is very, uh, it's very cool. When Lucas uh, gave me the map and I opened it up and I was blown away, look how huge this zoo is. There is so many animals and I hope we can see them all, but we're gonna give it a shot. We are talking about our favorite zoo animals and I think we're gonna try and find them. My favorite is the tiger and they're here so we're gonna try and find him. What's your favorite, Griff? My favorite is the koala. Okay, mm -hmm. and they have those here too, so we'll try and find those. And Lucas, what's yours? The orangutan. Okay, so we'll have to look for him because I don't know if he's on the map, but we're gonna look. Okay, so next we're gonna head to the Asia section. So here in the Asia section, some of the top animals we're wanting to see are the elephant and some of the tigers and big cats. So next we're trying to find the snow leopard, but we are here in June and it's pretty hot and it's the hottest part of the day. So more than likely he's probably hiding, trying to keep cool. What do you see, Griff? Uh, elephant. Elephant, nice. Hi, elephant. They even have some baby elephants. I think this is the first time I've ever seen baby elephants and we've been to quite a bit of zoos and I want to say this is the first time I've ever seen them. So they have a keeper talk at three o'clock. Unfortunately, it will be in German, so we won't know what they're saying, but it looks like they have a elephant bath time, but it was canceled today, but that would be pretty cool to see. So this is the elephant temple. And this is where they do the elephant bathing. You can come and watch them do that. We just walked past the tiger exhibit and I think it's closed because they had a fence in front of the entrance. So that's a strike one on getting to see one of our favorite animals. Next we're gonna try to find the leopards. Found the Amir leopard. 
but of course he's snoozing right now because it's the hottest part of the day. The tiger, there was another entrance which led you back in here and he's sleeping. Talk about German playgrounds. This playground here is incredible. This is massive. It's like a giant dragon and there's so many areas that kids can go inside and climb. This may be the most impressive playground that we've seen while, we, while we've been here in Germany. It's crazy because everything is all connected by little secret passageways and, and places to crawl. It's very crazy. I think this would definitely give some parents a heart attack, not being able to constantly keep your eye on, on your child because there's so many little areas that they can, uh, can climb and crawl around and go. You just can't keep track of them at all times. You just have to trust that they're gonna come back to you. Like, you just went in here, it's like a tunnel. I, I don't know where he's gonna come out. You just gotta wait to see where your kid pops out. The key could come out all the way over there, so. We're gonna see where he's gonna come out. It's pretty crazy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he came right back out. I just couldn't resist and ended up coming to play in the playground too. It's hard to get your kid out, so I had to come up here, get Griffin, and try to convince him to go get ice cream so we can go see the rest of the animals. We tried to save the playground for last because I knew if Griffin played on the playground, we would probably spend the whole day here. But unfortunately, he slipped away, so we'll see how many more animals we can see. Next, we're gonna check out Pongo Land. So now we're in the Australia area and you can actually go inside the animal enclosure and see, I believe like the wallabies and, and some of the Australian animals. So we just missed the wallabies. They just went out of view and I wasn't able to film them in time, but it's pretty cool how you can go inside the uh, enclosure with the animals. So they could go in there. So this was pretty cool how you don't just get to see the chimpanzees from behind the glass, but this walkway actually leads you through their enclosure and you can kind of get a better view. So I think that's pretty cool. The best part of this area is seeing the little baby chimpanzees just swinging around and eating and having fun. That is just so cute and it might be my favorite part so far. So that path led us to an inside building where I think the monkeys come and spend their time when it's cold outside and I think the orangutan is in here so we're gonna look for it because it is Lucas's favorite animal. At first I was bummed because I didn't see the orangutans inside in that enclosure but now we walk outside and here they are. This little one was just rolling down the hill. <laughs> Watch him. <laughs> Griffin, you like to do that. I was pleasantly surprised that the inside enclosure didn't stink and it was really clean. So that's also really neat to see that these animals are very well taken care of. And now we're entering into the Africa area. What is it? Like the big giraffe. Baby giraffe? supposed to be the lion exhibit but we cannot find them they're probably chilling inside somewhere where it's nice and cool so 
we found the meerkats and these are actually one of my favorite things to see at the zoo they're usually very active and it's pretty cool to watch them go into the holes and then pop up randomly yeah pretty neat so there is an area where you can get in with the goats and you can pet them can't feed them but you can at least get up close and personal and pet the goats So that was really cool. We got to actually pet the goats and they had brushes that you could use to brush their fur. So Griffin really enjoyed that. At first he was scared, but he ended up liking it being able to pet the goats. They have a couple of rhinos here. Man, I never realized how big their horns are. Next, we're gonna check out Gondwana Land, which some people have told us is the and, best and part. And other something. Um, yep. on our thing, koalas. And we're gonna look for the koala, which is Griffin's favorite. So this next part is supposed to be like an indoor rainforest. So this next part, they have a boat ride inside through the Gondwana Land. So it, it makes me think of jo uh, Jungle Cruise at Disney World. Yes. This was not what I was expecting when we came in here. So this is really exciting. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, we're going in a tunnel. Life develops in water. Single-celled organisms, which then evolve into more complex life forms. Environmental conditions changed on the new continents. Plant and animal species adapted to these conditions. This is like just the Jurassic Park ride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That is the best thing ever. I think the boat ride was super cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that has been the highlight of this zoo trip. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so you go through and it tells you about the history of the earth, and then up until the animals today and destruction of the rainforest mm -hmm. and why we need to pr preserve the biodiversity and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it was very cool. It's nice that they take you throughout this indoor area so you can yeah. kind of see some of the, the animals and plants and it does feel like you are in the rainforest. So we just talked to one of the zookeepers and he's gonna feed the sloth next, but he said that the sloth, they can be anywhere in this indoor area and a lot of times they climb the cables that are attached to um, the ceiling or like the roof so they can be anywhere inside inside here Okay, so we're walking through this rainforest hey. area and this woman was taking pictures of something so I looked up and it was a bat, a huge bat. And I was trying to get Lucas to hurry up and see it and get a video of it and then it swooped down right over my head. You guys, that has never happened to me in a zoo. So this zoo is rocking. Yeah. Another cool thing about this rainforest area is it is all paved, no stairs, so you can use your stroller or if your family member needs a wheelchair, which is so nice because sometimes you have to worry about that and unsure if you can even do it. So pretty cool. That Guandano land was awesome. I think that is my favorite part of this whole zoo. 
All right, so the zoo closes in about 30 minutes and we still haven't seen the koala. That was Griffin's favorite animal of the day. So we are booking it over there and we are gonna try and see this koala. We made it to the koala house. Of course, this little koala is turning away from us. He's probably had enough of today, but we made it and Griffin got to see his favorite animal. What do you think about the koala? Good. Good, is he cute? Are you happy we got to see him? Yeah. Are we sad we have to leave? Yeah, I know. So we just finished checking out the Leipzig Zoo and I have to say, we were both very impressed. Mm -hmm. Yes, very impressed. We've been to multiple zoos here in Europe. We've gone to the zoo in Nuremberg, Berlin, and Innsbruck. And so far, this has definitely been the best zoo that we've been to. Mm -hmm. And even the best zoo that we've ever been to in the States, like this was the best. For me, I really enjoyed uh, the Gondwana lands. For me, I think that was the, the coolest part. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you got to get in the boat and it would take you around uh, and actually felt like you were in the the rainforest. Yeah, it felt like you were on a ride at Disney. That's what it felt like. And it just was really cool and it was very different. We've never been in anything like that at a zoo. Uh, my favorite part was Pongo Land with all the monkeys and the gorillas. It was just really cute to see the baby monkeys swinging around and it wasn't dirty or stinky. It just felt like the animals had tons of space and room to just play and enjoy their life here in the zoo. My favorite part is the koalas. Yeah, the koala was cool, huh? Lastly, I would definitely recommend coming here to the Leipzig Zoo. It truly is the best zoo that we've been to. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you've been here or what do you think is your favorite zoo? Ring and subscribe. Like and subscribe.